All right, we're back on Fox 43 News at 7 o'clock. You've seen it if you've been out to enjoy the water. Litter here and there. It's not only polluting the waterways, but it can kill marine and other wildlife. It degrades neighborhoods. But this week, the good news is you can do your part with Clean Up the Bay Day. Shelly Izano joins us now this morning with more on how you can help, how it doesn't take much. And, you know, to promote that you were coming, we said a little pitching in goes a long way. And I guess how little you have to pitch in depends on how many people you can get to do a little, right? Well, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Last year, Clean the Bay Day, I believe, uh, removed 120 debris, uh, tons of debris wow. from waterways. Wow. And cleaned about 343 miles of shoreline with 7,000 volunteers. Mm -hmm. And that's just people with their gloves and their plastic bags? That's just volunteers out in the community, people that are um, good-hearted individuals yeah. that want to see the waterways clean and preserve it for tomorrow's generation. I guess that's kind of the good news and the bad news. The good news that so much was cleaned up, the bad news that so much was out there that needed to be picked up. So I think, you know, what do you want people to know when they, you know, toss things out the window, toss things overboard and think, poof, it's just gone forever? Yeah, it doesn't disappear. A lot of, a lot of those products are non-biodegradable. Mm -hmm. So they end up sitting in the uh, in the inner waterways, mm -hmm. um, not only polluting the water, uh, creating a lot of um, blockages in systems. Yeah, um, it, it starts to affect the ecosystems in ways where the the oxygen level might be um, depleted, mm -hmm. uh, which causes algae growth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which kills the marine species mm -hmm. that live in the water. So each, even this, you know, the tiniest things like a cigarette butt or a bottle cap. Yeah. These things, they don't go anywhere. They have to be removed from the water in order to keep the waterways clean and clear. And they kind of upset the balance. They, they certainly do. Well, it's a serious topic, but I know you're going to make a Clean Up the Bay Day fun. What's with the hat there? Oh, I've, got, I've got a hat that, here because we have a... We have a traditional Hampton Bay Days crab hat. All right. And this is what, you know, we wear to promote, promote the event, but also to promote crabs because mm -hmm. you know that we've had some issues with some over harvesting in the bay mm -hmm. and um, the the crabs have been protected and there, there have been some efforts made mm -hmm. and population is starting to grow and we want to see it grow back up so the industry um, can you know come back into play again and you know what's better than a crab hat I just want you to know Shelly that that hat does not affect your credibility <laughs> at all you're clearly incredibly knowledgeable about the bay and the cleanup but I'm glad to see that you can make it a fun day for everybody as they pitch in all right let's let you know how you can get involved it's happening Saturday 9 to noon for more information you can go to www.cbf.org www.cbf or get your gloves and your trash bag and your crab hat and get out there and do your part. Thanks, Shelly. If you don't have supplies, we'll supply them for you. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you.